All right, so to create a large bean stitch, uh, each stitch actually counts as two stitches, so each bean. So you'll notice this one I've already made. Uh, there's one stitch and then two stitches there for each one bean that we create. So we're going to be skipping the next stitch and then creating the large bean stitch into the one after it. So you're going to yarn over, skip that stitch, insert into the next one, yarn over, pull through, and then just pull that bit of yarn up a bit, about to the same height as the other loops on your hook. So I've just done that once, now we're going to do it again, yarn over, insert into the same stitch again, yarn over, pull through, and then up to the same height. For the third time, yarn over, insert, yarn over again, pull up, and then from here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on the hook, yarn over, and we're going to pull through all seven loops. From here to close the stitch, you're just going to yarn over, pull through, and then as you can see, there's uh, two stitches there. Again, each large bean stitch counts as two stitches. So we'll do that again. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, insert into the one after, yarn over, pull through, and up once, twice, three times, yarn over, pull through all of the loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through to close the stitch up. So the side that we're looking at that's facing you is generally actually going to be the wrong side of your work the beans are going to stick out a bit more and be raised up more on the, the opposite side. Now, the variation I just showed you was with uh, three yarns over, but you want to look at the pattern because it might offer a variation in that. You might be yarning over four times instead of three. So I'll just give you an example of that. So skip the next sti stitch, insert, yarn over, pull up once, Yarn over, pull up twice, yarn up, pull up three, and then the pattern might tell you to do it even four times for a larger bean. Pull through all of those loops and then close the stitch off like so.